Let's go inside and listen. It's the wrong time and the wrong place. Though your face is charming, it's the wrong face. It's not his face, but such a charming face that it's all right with me. It's the wrong song and the wrong style. Though your smile is lovely, it's the wrong smile. It's not his smile, but such a lovely smile that it's all right with me. You can't know how happy I am that we met. I'm strangely attracted to you. There's someone I'm trying so hard to forget. Don't you want to forget someone too? It's the wrong time and the wrong place. Though your smile is lonely, it's the wrong face. It's not his face, but such a charming face. But it's so nice, go free. Dear, it's all right. It's all right. Why wait for tomorrow when it just might slip away? Now's the time to break away. Why wait for tomorrow when it's just today? That's what friendly skies are all about. This is Studio A of the Chicago Recording Company. Joe Bell has just finished a recording session for Comtrack, United Airlines. Joe spends a lot of time in this studio. In the past three years, uh, she has recorded, oh, among others, national commercials you'd be familiar with, like McDonald's, like uh, Hallmark, La Choy. It, it occurred to me you have the best of two worlds. You have uh, the commercials. Yes. to make a living and you're able to sing the kind of music you want to sing without worrying about right. having to make a living that way. It wasn't always like that. <laughs> you know, right. I've done the live singing a lot more and uh, it was lucky for me when I fell into you know, the studio work because that's allowed me to sing jazz at night because I love it and take jobs that I love instead of ones I have to to pay the rent. You know. If you had to make the choice between studio work or singing jazz in front of a live audience, which would it be? Live is where it's at as far as people response, as far as an emotional fulfillment. I think every performer needs that applause. I think that's what we need. We need to be loved, we need the recognition, we need um, the approval of what we're doing. straightens your tie you know the lady is in love with you if she can dress for a date without that waiting that you hate you know the lady is in love with you and when your friends ask you over to join their table but she picks a faraway booth for two well sir here's 
just how it stays. You've got romance on your hands because the lady's in love with you. Shouldn't matter quite so much And some will never be But one fine day You look to me We'll have moments Two or three Keep me close to where you run too high I'm never hard to find Take your time But save that time for me
I'm living my fantasy. Uh, I have tapes of myself at the age of about five years old, singing Rockabye Your Baby with the Dixie Melody, and I'm confessing, and all those things. I used to sit with the old woolen sack and sing, you know, and just pretend I was a singer. And um, I, I, I lost my parents a few years back, and I'm working with a lot of my father's peers. Um, I used to go see him do The Tonight Show and Merv Griffin and Dean Martin and shows like that. So I had the exposure to the back end of the business, but watching my dad be the entertainer. dad was in show business uh it certainly helped you as far as contacts were concerned right it did but you know i wanted to come in on my own talent i wanted the security of knowing they were booking me for me and my talent not for a very special warm memory of my father and mother so um i came in as joe bell and people know me as joe bell in the business my last name is yonelli and my father was called the great yonelli so now i am uh you know, now people know me. They know both sides of me, but I tried to come in on my own. Um, I studied piano a little. I took drum lessons. You know, my father indulged us in all the instruments we wanted when we were kids. And uh, when I used to see his act, he'd be performing with trios, quartets, big bands, eight-piece, 18, whatever. And uh, as, a, as a child, I, I got my ear tuned into that big band sound, I think, you know. And I'm very lucky. If you could see me now, you'd know how blue I've been. One look is all you'd need to see the mood I'm in. Perhaps you'd be mine again if you could see me now. see me now you'd find me being brave and trying awfully hard to make my tears behave but that's quite impossible I'm still in love with you What are your ultimate ambitions, Joe? To do as much as I can. I mean, I want to just learn uh, whatever they want me to do, if it involves music or singing, you know, the arts. I love the arts. I think you'd be a natural as an actress because you have a vivaciousness that comes across and uh, that, that people can't, can't miss. Well, that's, you know, that's, that's a little down the line, but I used to say that about jingle work, you know, gee, I wish I could do a commercial, you know, and now I've been into it for a little over three years and... Um, I'm looking kind of at what else I can do, maybe soundtracks for movies. I have a jazz album I would like to record. I have a Brazilian group I'm in I would like to record, you know, with that. Just go your way and laugh and play. There's joy unknown in a mellow tone. Thank you. Thank you. We are going to take a very, very short break. We will be right back. Thank you very much.
John Campbell is one of Chicago's brilliant young musicians. You're listening to him tonight in a trio setup and primarily as an accompanist. Tell us about working with Joe Bell, John. Joe is a gas. She's, we've known each other for, oh, quite a few years now, just off and on, and uh, have been able to work together just a, a very few times, but it's always very special, and uh, she's really quite a lady. I hope we can do some more work uh, in the very near future. And I thought about you There were two or three cars parked under the skies Winding lane The moon shining down on some little town And with each dream the same old thing At every stop that we made I thought about you When I pulled down the shade I really felt blue And I peeked through the crack and looked at the tree The one going back to you what did I do? I thought about you. I took a trip on a train and I thought about you. I passed a shadow in the lane and I thought about you. There were two or three cars parked under the stars. A winding lane, the moon shining down on some little town. With each beam, the same old dream. And every stop that we made, I thought about you. When I pulled down the shed, I really felt blue. And I peeked through the crack and looked at the track, the one going back to you. And what did I do? Well, tell me, what did I do? Well, what did I do? You've got to take the pain Love is a necessary evil An evolutionary interplanetary evil Your heart's pounding, you get excited Play with a flame and you're ignited Time out for crying, here comes a load of rain to take the pain
Thank you. Well, that does it for our show. We want to wish the best of luck to our guests, Corky Siegel, Joe Bell, and the John Campbell Trio. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll join me again next time for another chapter of Sounds of a City. <laughs>